Hey there, my fellow intellectuals. How are you doing tonight? Kyle here with another video. And it is currently 11.31 at night, if you can look at my watch and if it, my camera will focus. And I just finished doing some grading for the day. Monday, which is today, is a day where I spend a lot of the time focusing on my teaching and grading and preparing for teaching this week. And we are starting week four here at UC Irvine. Quarters are weird. They're just like... You start them, you're happy, you're like, oh, start of the quarter, such a you know exciting, exhilarating feeling. And the next thing you know, it's like week three or four, midterms already, what the heck? And yeah, that's the story of quarters. Let me know below if you like quarters or do you like semesters. you like 10-week quarters or 16-week semesters? Or if you have some other system, I don't really know school systems besides the semester or the quarter system here in the United States. So yeah, enlighten me. Please enlighten me. But... I have to admit to you guys that I've been just super swamped with work. It's currently Monday, starting week four, and I was working all weekend because I had to help on a proposal. So if you guys saw my last, I guess my video before the last video I made, I was talking about writing a proposal for the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, also known as ALMA. That's the telescope that my research is using data from and modeling for black hole mass measurements and I can't really tell you much more about the proposal other than I helped make one with my advisor and his former student who's also a professor and it took up a lot of time this weekend because both me and my advisor didn't really have any time last week during the week because we were just swamped me with teaching him with professor things I don't know and yeah he kind of asked me if if, if I would be available to work this weekend and I was like I wanted to work this week on the proposal anyway so it worked out so we worked together this weekend on getting it done now it's done it just feels great to feel that it's done because it just took up so much time and stress and combined with my teaching assignment which is a lot of work it was it was those two things those two things that were eating up most of my time the past two weeks and nothing of my own research in terms of my paper was done at all like my my paper was on the back burner until this proposal is done which means now i can replace the stress of the proposal and replace it with the stress of my paper because that's just that's just how things go in academia man you know like you just you have one stressful th deadline and then you just have another stressful deadline that takes its place it's just a never ending cycle never ending and uh and now i'm wondering why i, I chose this this life I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I actually do like what I what I'm doing, but it can get stressful. I think that's the that's the main thing. One thing I have to admit is like the teaching assignment this quarter has been just absolutely. Uh, it's been a lot. It has been quite a bit, and I figured that I I think I have sort of adopted a efficient and optimal system to try and get my teaching responsibilities done in as you know, little amount of time as possible that still allows for my students to learn and myself to be able to do other things. But even with this system I've come up with, I have to admit, like I'm pushing the boundaries of what I'm legally supposed to do as a TA here. At uh, UC Irvine, we have a union for teaching assistants and the, the union regulates that we can only teach up to 20 hours per week on average throughout the quarter. So for a 10-week quarter, we are not supposed to teach well technically there's 11 weeks because of a finals week so we're not supposed to work more than 220 hours a quarter as a teaching assistant so that's that comes out to 20 hours per week and i have to admit i i've come close um last week and this week it looks like i'm going to come close and it's just uh it's just a lot and if i'm rambling guys it's because it's like 11 30 and i've just been working all day and my brain is just sort of like unwinding this is my unwinding time this is the time where i get to just to just not think about work and I can just talk and I can just be a YouTuber. I really don't like that word. A YouTuber for a little bit and make content for you guys and give you guys an, t some insight as to what, you know, a PhD student slash PhD candidate must be going through in their fourth, uh, fourth year in grad school. Time is going by too fast, guys. Like I, I, I cannot believe I'm a fourth year. It's, it's like, why? Where did the time go? So, <laughs> yeah, that's essentially what's been going on, guys. I have been 
very busy, very stressed, very uh, not focused on YouTube stuff, which is why this video is sort of maybe discombobulated, but also maybe a little bit more, more loose, a little bit more fun, a little bit more open, a little bit more candid, a little bit more me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who could have seen that one coming? But yeah, let me know. Let me know if you like these style of videos where I just sort of, I don't know, chirp on, but not in a podcast episode. Because I, I just feel like we have a good chemistry, you and I, in terms of, you know, YouTuber and audience. And again, don't like the word YouTuber, but I like it when you guys give me feedback. I want to know, like, is is this stuff what you want to hear? Do you want to get the real details? Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you guys want. You guys, you guys got to tell me. Just let me know. So, yeah, that's what's been up brains all over the place so anyway guys that's essentially it for the video i have to get ready to sleep and start the cycle all over again but yeah so like comment and subscribe if you just liked hearing this weird rambling and uh leave a comment below talking about what's your ideal type of school term system quarter semesters or trimesters or i don't know what whatever your school does Anyways, nice to see you guys. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you guys soon sometime. Bye.